Alrighty. How's it going, everyone? Boom Slime here. Welcome to my channel. So let's get the camera straightened out for Pete's sake. Get the camera straight. And. live and no one's here <laughs> someone was here and now they're back just gonna hang out wait for more people to uh show up if anyone's gonna show up i don't know we'll see it is thursday afternoon evening i guess you could say and um, yeah, we're gonna open up this blaster box here of opening day, and then update the um, the error binder with just no errors. It's just um, some sample cards, pre-production cards, stuff like that. Whatever happened to my? Oh, right there's my Kniff. My Kniff, Kniff. So we'll give people a chance to show up. In the meantime, I guess we can put these in the error binder. Since it is a error slash um, pre-production or sample card binder. There's no new errors to add. But I do have sample cards to add to this, so very nice, very nice. <clears throat> so we're going to add this Ken Griffey Jr. upper deck. I don't have my glasses on me, so I can't. You guys probably know what year it is. I don't. Let's see. We got... So this is from 96, 1996 upper deck, if you look, if it focuses, there we go. So 95 is the year, so it's 96. So we have a 96 Griffey Jr. And I will pop him right here, I guess, carefully, not wanting to ding the corners. And you know what? Yeah, no. We're gonna put him. We're gonna put the junior since we have so many juniors to add. We're gonna put junior on his own page. How's that? So here's one. There we go. So there's one. Here's another one. Um, I wish I had the sample of the um. The regular production card, too. I'm going to have to look for them. But this is for promotional use only on the back. And um, pretty cool. This is a 95. No stats available. I don't happen. There's no stats available in 95. I don't think he was hurt for a whole season ever. But he might have been. So this is a 96 Upper Deck Collector's Choice, which is the poor man's... Um, upper deck product and then there's this um upper deck sp kind of i don't know something dx maybe sample right there on the back this is from 97 upper deck spx Card number 45. 
So we'll pop this in here. It's a bit thicker of a card than standard stock, but it should be fine in here. Should be fine. And there it goes. All locked away. And then we got this Griffey Jr. And it's another SP product. And it's from... You see that? Did it focus on that? Because I can't see it. Is that 96? I need a magnifying glass. I think it says 96, so that'll make it a 97 upper deck. SP. Pretty cool card. I'm going to have to look for the um, production variants of this. And then I have um, one Mike Piazza. And this Piazza, I guess I'll just put it here. I don't know if I get any more of these. Oh, well, I'm going to put them over here. Mike Piazza is a 90, what? 94. So I guess this is a 95. It says, no, it says 94. Tops. So it says 94 tops. Oh, it says pre production sample for 90, 1994. Okay, got it. And you can tell this one just because it, the number is a PP, whatever it is, PP2, pre-production card number two. So that's how you can tell those from the regular ones. And that's it for the error binder book. No new errors to uh, add today. And now let's get into the... Um, what we've all came here for, what y'all came here for, this uh, opening day blaster box. I can't seem to open it. Things aren't glued, are they? Something in the way, stopping my knife from getting through there. I know it's not the sharpest knife in the world, but... Oh, the... Anti-theft thing was jamming my knife up. All right, so there they are. And what else it say? We didn't read the box. I guess we should read the box. Ten packs, one extra pack. So 11 packs for six and up. That includes me. I'm allowed uh, to have these now. And uh, 2020 opening day. Look for autograph and relic cards. But there's no guarantee. All right, well, whatever. I guess that'll be a big bonus if we get one. All right, so we've got one, two, three, a four, a five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and the bonus. So there you have it. Ten packs plus a bonus. Well, we're going to use the center one. We're going to split it right down the middle. Hey, Tom, how's it going? Thanks for stopping by, everyone, by the way. All right, so here we go. Who do we have first? Oh, nice one, Albert Pujols, right off the bat. Looking a little look a little chunky there. I know the camera adds like 20 pounds, they say, but oh, Albert looks like he put on about 40 or 50 extra pounds. Still. And we're going to follow him up with a Jock Peterson. Very nice. That's what the back of these cards look like, by the way. Jock happens to be card number nine. Albert is card number 44. Don't know if there's any short prints in here or not. I don't have the eyesight to, to gander at the um, the numbers on the bottom. Who's this guy? Uh, Kyle Lewis. Okay, Kyle, never heard of you, but okay. Uh, Jonathan Villar. I've heard of him. Card number two in the set. Uh, Jorge Faro. Okay. Uh, Nelson Cruz. And we have a Seattle Mariners uh, stadium or opening day for Seattle. Very nice. So we've got a pool host and a jock. Pool host is jock we have. And we've got a Ryan Braun. 
Uh, what's this? Keston Hira. Is that second year card? No. Who knows? It's got a gold cup. Usually for a second year um, player. Kenta made media, media, whatever. You know who he is. Trey Mancini. How about a Francisco Lindor? Very nice. Lindor. Uh, and we got our first Pedro Guerrero. Senior or junior, not senior, sorry. Junior. And San Diego Stadium. Very nice. Opening day in San Diego. Next pack. Hey, old Peachy, how's it going? All right, so what do we have here? We have Yuli Goriel. Hey, I show hey, Otani. We got an Otani son. Very nice. We got a Sean Murphy rookie card. Nice. Tommy Pham flashing his Padres Brown. How about a Zach Gallen rookie card? Nice. And Javier Baez. He's one of the top young players in the league. And then we have Willie May statue at San Francisco Giants Stadium. <clears throat> at Oracle Park main entrance. Okay. <coughs> Thanks for hitting that thumbs up, guys. Excuse me. Appreciate it. I'm also going to do um, a little announcement for the channel here. Um, so I had mentioned in my last video about possibly doing some, some breaks. Um, and I decided that um, I'm going to, um, well, I did. I bought a uh, 1982 Fleer box, Cello box. Someone did suggest Cello packs. So I went with Cello. And um, there's a Pete Alonzo, Big Meat Pete. He looks as big as Pujols. Um, Michael Baez. And so Matt Olson. Here's Will Manny Machado. And, hey, we got a mascot, Wally the Green Monster. So that's a Red Sox. I'll put him up there, mascots. Um, so 82 Fleer. Now the, the the Cal Ripken card in there, uh, like it says in the description here, this video, uh, is selling right now on eBay for anywhere from twelve to fourteen hundred dollars in a PSA ten. And these are cello packs. Yes, that's Vlad. Did I say Pedro? Kenley Jensen. Um, Anthony Rizzo. Anthony. Liam Hendricks. Gary Sanchez. We're going to put, he's a Yankee. I love my Yankees. Alberto Alzole. 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 Rookie card. Very nice. Oh, we got some kind of foiled card with a date stamped on. So let's go to this real quick. Ranger Stadium card. And this is, who is this? Trent Grisham, San Diego, March 26, 2020. Rookie card. And it's foil. And that must be his uh, rookie debut uh, date, I guess. No? No, because they didn't have a 2020 season. So I don't know what the date on there is. Maybe it was supposed to be opening day. February, March. I don't know. When's opening day for baseball? When was it supposed to be? I don't know. And um, so, yeah, um, that box has been ordered. It's uh, 24 packs of 82 clear. And then once it gets here, I'll work on all the particulars on how Things are going to go with the break and all that good stuff. Here's a Masahiro Tanaka. Landscaped. Very nice. I'll put him with the Yankees. Uh, David Dow. 
Nice David Dahl. Landscaped, Aaron Nola. Whatever focus is. There we go. Aaron Nola. We've got a Jordan Yamamoto. Yamamoto. Uh, that means Jordan goes very fast, I guess. Jose Barrios. There's another Yankee. Giancarlo Stanton. Mike Stanton to uh, all those early Stanton fans. And there's a Bryce Harper insert set card or something like that. SP10. You have just received an MLB sticker collection preview card from 2020 opening day. Oh, so that's supposed to be a sticker. It's a sticker. Okay. Yeah, it feels, feels different. All right, it's Harper. Uh, okay, we got five packs left out of the ten pack plus one. There's a regular Harper. I've seen that one before. With the little, I don't know, Pokemon, Pokemon sweat band he's got going there. I don't know what he's got in his head. Looks like an extra set of eyeballs. Whatever focuses. Got to get rid of these cards on the side. There we go. Finally. And out. In and out. That quick. We'll put Bryce up there. How about a Paul Goldschmidt? Andrew Benintendi. Even though I'm a Yankee fan, I'll put Andrew up there. Oh, he's out of sight. So is my other card. All right, we'll put him here. We'll put this guy here. How's that? Get him in the scene because that's like a neat card. Here's Kyle Sag Sager. Starlin Castro. I think he was a former Cub, former Yankee. Yes. And we have a Michael Brantley. Oh, look, we got the green monster guy again. We couldn't get a different one. Got to get the Red Sox guy twice. All right. Moving on. We'll get over it. How about a Glaber Torres? Always excited to get Glaber. You know who I'm actually more excited about? Um, they're, uh, God, now I can't think of his name. The, short, uh, the third baseman for the Yankees. I tell Marte, Ken Giles. I was going to say, uh, the name sounds like he was a Philly, and he was a Philly. Okay. Uh, Gregory Polanco. Hey, Frank B. Rippin. How's it going? I just going through his Victor Robles uh, Gold Cup card. So we're going to put Victor down here. He's a good guy. Uh, Scott Kingery, Sillies, and then we got Tampa Rays Stadium. Three packs left. Not much going on, really. Just uh, opening up this blaster box, <clears throat> and I made a channel announcement about a break I'm going to be doing. Here's Gavin Lux rookie card. So we got Lucky with the Lux. Very nice. Um, Brandon Woodruff. Uh, Josh Hader. I like me some Josh Hader. He is throwing, uh, I don't know, it looks like a slurve or something there. Well, he's got the ball gripped. Trash can banger. I'm going to put him up there with the Red Sox. Tyler Glass now. Nice. How about some Matthew Boyd and Fenway Park? It's only fitting he goes up there with the mascot, I guess, and Bregman. Two packs left. So, like I said, it's going to be, uh, I bought a box of 82 clear cello box. It'll be coming, arriving next week sometime, towards the end of the week. And then I'll make the announcement as to how the break's going to go, I guess. Carlos Santana. Jeff McNeil. And again, the uh, Cal Ripken Jr., Rookie card in there is selling between twelve and fourteen hundred dollars right now on eBay in a PSA ten. Craig Kimbrell. How about a Hanser Alberto? That's a big boy too. Hanser Alberto. Hey, Father and Son cards. What's up? 
How about a Patrick Corbin? And the Philadelphia Phillies Stadium. I guess we'll just put that down there with the Bryce Harper sticker. So we got one sticker in the box. Last pack. Um, we got one foil card um, with a fictitious opening day date on it, apparently. Um, here's a Carlos Correa. I put him up there with a trash can banging Bregman. Uh, Brandon McKay, rookie card. Tim Anderson got an owie. Put some meat on them bones, Tim. Actually, he's got some pretty beefy arms for a skinny kid. Dakota Hudson. Matt Chapman. We have a Jose Ramirez. And, oh, look what we got here. Spring has sprung Mark McGuire. For the last card in the last pack. Let's check out the back of this. When not being mobbed by autograph seekers as a young Oakland star, Mark was putting on thunderous batting practices, uh, baddest practice theatrics in spring training. It was in the Cactus League in 1988 that McGuire and fellow Bash brother Jose Canseco came up with their famous forearm smash to celebrate home runs and juicing was developed in the Cactus League. So we got, we'll put the uh, little McGuire there. Look at the corner guy, a little, little ding on the corner. Look at that, it's bent. Not really ding, but it's bent from, I guess I might have been too rough opening the pack. And that's it, guys. So everything that we got is right here in front of you. We got a pool holes. We got a Jock Peterson. We've got Otani. We got two Harpers, base and a sticker. We got a Vladdy Jr. We got Big Meat Pete, Manny Machado. We got a Gavin Lux rookie card. Of course, we got the McGuire. And three Yankees. Torres, four Yankees. Tanaka, Stanton, and Gary Sanchez. And here's that foil card with the date of March 26, 2020. So I don't know what they were thinking there. I guess they were anticipating something and didn't correct the card. And that's it, guys. So um, thanks for tuning in. Thanks for watching. Uh, if you want to go back and see what I added to the Error Binder book, you're going to have to go back to the beginning of the video. Check it out. Uh, no more errors added, just um, some sample cards, you know, um, pre-production cards that I, that I picked up. So it was like uh, four Griffies and a um, Piazza card. And that's it. So, uh, guys, thanks for tuning in. Thanks for hanging out. Thanks for watching. Thanks for hitting that thumbs up button. And if you haven't already subscribed, go ahead and do so now. I would appreciate it. We're chugging along. We're trying to get, obviously, to uh, the minimum 1,000 subscribers. So when we all get released back into the, the wilds, out of our cages. By the way, I'm back to work, so I'm I'm working every day so far this week, and my employer is deemed a, um, you know, like critical whatever. We we build helicopters for the army in case we got to invade, I guess, somewhere. Um, hey, Critter Mancer, how's it going? And my one offer was just declined. For the second box of cards I was trying to get. So we'll see what goes on with that. Um, but. Yeah we built helicopters for the army. And they said. You have government contracts to meet. Obligations and you will work. So that's what. Is going on where I work. They never. They stopped for two weeks. To clean the place up. Because apparently maybe they thought someone. In the building was sick. With the you know what, the unmentionable, um, and at least unmentionable according to YouTube, um, 
and so they shut down for two weeks sanitized the whole building and um, now we all have to wear masks and we're social distancing that's fun because you're almost forced to work right next to the guy in a helicopter and um, yeah it's all good for a good cause is to support our troops make sure they have the warfighter has everything they need to go out and conquer and be successful because we don't ever want to send our guys out ill-prepared for any kind of conflict. We want them to have the best equipment possible, the best weapons, you name it, because we don't plan to lose. We want to win, right? That was opening day. Yes, obvious. Uh, we just kind of finished up, uh, you know, just a little blaster box of wet and all, all that. Um, it was quick and that's about it so for you hobbyists what we get we got a harper sticker i guess it's like a pre-production sticker you just received an mlb sticker collection preview card oh that can go in the binder that can go in the binder now because it's a pre-production preview yes all right, look at that. I got a brand new one for the binder. Because the regular stickers have, they're dual sided. There's two cards. And they got numbers on there. This doesn't have a number on there. The number's on the back. I don't get it what they're doing here. Is it even a sticker or is it a card? Whatever. It says pre 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 sticker. That's good enough. It's going in the uh going go in the binder as a pre production card. Hey Texas hockey, how's it going? Um I already kind of opened up the box, guys. Um, you can see what we got. We got Otani. We got a a chubby Albert Pujols, looking very, very stocky there. We got the Vladdy Jr. We've got Jock Peterson. We got a Francisco Lindor, Manny Machado, Big Meat Pete, Javier Baez, Otani-san, Benintendi. We got this neat McGuire. Um, Kind of spring and sprung card. If it ever focuses. If it, there it is. And it talks about how he and Canseco in what 1988 spring training came up with the uh, the forearm bash and the bash brothers were born kind of thing. Uh, Victor Robles. We got a um, Gavin Lux rookie card. Josh Hader. Um, Sanchez. Tanaka, Glaber Torres, Giancarlo Stanton, two Harpers. We've got a couple trash can bangers here. We've got Correa and um, Bregman. We've got the Fenway Park with not one, but two of the Red Sox mascots. So let's get the Red Sox off the screen. We should put our Yankees back on the screen, but that's all right. What's different? I want to announce the um, the um, I purchased a box of 1982 Fleer to sell, you know, packs for a break on my channel. Waiting for a trash can game used metal cards. That you know they did Fleer did make metal cards and Avon made some metal cards and stuff like that too, but I have come across some of the uh, the uh, Fleer metal cards in my boxes that I've been sorting. And right now I can't tell you if there's one available or not. Not readily handy right now, but I'll set one aside. For next time, the Fleer actually made a, a set of metal cards. I don't know how many are in the set, but I've come across five or ten of them during my sorts. So, and that's it, guys. Um, like I said, they bought the '82 Fleer for the uh, Cal Ripken Junior rookie card, which is selling if you check it out on eBay. It's between twelve and um, I don't know, 12 and 1400 bucks. Probably the average is like 1200 bucks um, for sale right now. I don't, I didn't check the 
recently sold listings, but you guys know all these baseball cards are going up in price. They're all going up. These boxes of junk wax are shooting up through the roof. It's ridiculous that the junk wax is going up like 50, 60 bucks for, you know, $10 box of cards. But I mean, they have them, they have the supply and uh, we only can supply the demand. So that's where we're stuck. Pieces of trash can. Oh, yeah, they can cut them up, right? Cut them up and use it as relic cards. Cut little pieces of trash cans and stick it in. The problem being, they didn't use a metal trash can. They used a big plastic one. So it would have to be cut up plastic trash can. And put it, if you want to get more on the same lines as them, I know metal trash cans make more noise. That's for sure when you bang on them, but and it is what it is. Um, the rest of the cards was really, they were really not all that great. There was some rookie cards in here, um, people I've never heard of, but that doesn't mean they're not good. Um, just means I've never heard of them. So, yeah, I don't watch a whole lot of baseball, and um, the Astro whole Astro thing has turned me off even more towards watching any games so you know it is what it is i guess we'll just have to get over it because the baseball commissioner said we have to just suck it up and get over it basically and his whole punishment of the red Sox was a joke you know so my my advice to all the teams is just go and cheat you're not going to get penalized you're not going to get penalized don't worry about it the precedents have been set by the commissioner and he is okayed it. All right, that's cool, Joe's card and toys. I'm getting ready to sh shut it down. Yeah, what's for what's for dinner, Joe? Sloppy Joe's. Boom, boom. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. I'll be here probably for the next five minutes. Alrighty, guys, I'm going to shut her down because Joe's having dinner. I've already had my dinner. It wasn't much, but I actually picked up pizza on the way home. And my wife and son had Applebee's. So. Yep, have a good one, everyone. Check you later. I got a lot of new stuff. I got to have to get some new stuff, I guess. All right. Yep, see you on the next one, guys.